Hello friends, in this video we will talk about neoteny and pedogenesis. These are two processes that we encounter during developmental biology. First of all, both these terms are related to developmental process. And what kind of developmental process? It is the sexual development. And we always attribute these terms to the larval phase of an organism. In order to understand the neoteny and pedogenesis, we must know what is somatic cell and germ cell. Remember, we have two types of cells in our body, somatic cells and germ cells. Somatic cells, these are the cells that give rise to all body tissues, all cells, except the gametes, which originate from germ cells. So, any cell other than a gamete, germ cell, is a somatic cell. So, first of all, let's find out what's the difference between neoteny and pedogenesis. Let's see the neoteny first. We see its delayed somatic development but with constant reproductive development or sexual development. What I mean to say here, there is a delay in growth of somatic cells in our body except cells for reproductive parts. When somatic cell growth is delayed, the physical maturation is delayed too. But here, the constant reproductive development, that means the sexual development remains at a constant pace which means germ cells are produced at normal rate. There is no delay here. Although the reproductive system parts are also made up of somatic cells, but in that case, their growth remains constant. Then we see pedogenesis. It's just the reversal of neoteny. We see here, it's the acceleration of reproductive development with constant somatic development. So both the cases are here, the reproductive development and somatic development, but here the reproductive development is accelerated both the reproductive organs as well as the germ cells is accelerated while the remaining somatic development is at constant pace here. If we compare the neoteny and pedogenesis, in pedogenesis we see constant somatic development whereas in neoteny we see constant reproductive development. And in case of neoteny we see there is delayed somatic development and for the same case pedogenesis there is acceleration of reproductive development. So all the terms are interrelated with each other both the processes are different but they attribute they lead to the same result that's the larval reproduction now let's discuss the neoteny in detail what's the mechanism behind it that leads to neoteny let's illustrate this neoteny by taking an example let's say we have a x organism when this x organism is young one it has some traits that are lost when the organism grows and finally, after some time, when organism develops all the traits of adults through maturation. And the organism matures sexually as well as physically. There is the somatic development as well as sexual development here. Let's assume it takes 10 months to mature completely. Both the somatic development and sexual development, it takes 10 months. So in these 10 months, somatic development shows its limbs develop, its tail, its lungs, develop completely and all other parts and in case of sexual development we say it's gonna develop with mature germ cells that means here we say the germ cells develop we are not only concerned with germ cells here but altogether these reproductive parts also develop which are also a part of somatic development but in that case we consider it is a part of sexual development as we have already seen in neoteny this somatic development is delayed so here only sexual development occurs at normal rate. After the somatic development is delayed, sexual development is at constant pace. Finally, the larva becomes sexually mature. When this neoteny occurs, we say it's the retention of larval traits by adult. And the reason behind this retention of larval traits by adult is lack of metamorphosis. As we see this neoteny, it's mostly seen in amphibians that do in order urodella and to some extent neoteny is also shown by humans too like when any adult is baby faced or we see some neotenous traits exhibited by down syndrome patient but it's more pronounced in these amphibians like salamanders take for an example of exolator larva which retains gills even in the adult stage let's find out the mechanism for neoteny in which the organism lacks metamorphosis this is the brain of urodella. So in this brain, it consists of secretory neurons which stimulate the anterior pituitary to secrete thyroid stimulating hormone. 
that's TSH. Then this TSH in turn goes to thyroid gland where it stimulates the thyroid cells to secrete thyroxine hormone, that's T4. This T4 has not any nuclear receptors in nucleus. Therefore, it's acted upon by deiodinase enzyme and gets converted into T3 form, that's triiodothyronine, by the process of deiodination. And this T3 then gets into the nucleus and activates target genes and metamorphosis occurs in this way. But what happens in neotenous organisms? So it is this deiodination process that is absent in those organisms because there is a low concentration of deiodination enzyme, type 1 deiodination enzyme and because of this low concentration this T4 is not converted into T3 when there is no T3 nothing goes to nucleus there is no activation of target genes and finally there is no metamorphosis. So this was all about neoteny and a little bit of difference between neoteny and pedogenesis. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.